Hey, welcome back. It's Laura. Um, I'm so glad you're here in my YouTube channel where I want to help you live on mission for the glory of God. In this series, I'm talking about different aspects of creation uh, that put us in awe of God, that show us what God's heart and character are like. So in this one, I want to talk about a plant because um, God tells us, consider the wildflowers of the field. They don't worry about their life as to what they're going to wear, um, but either Solomon is not even um, in his great armies are not even decked out like these flowers, all right? So I'm going to look at some wildflowers. I want to look at the tobacco plant. And these guys, um, once they germinate, um, they need to be ready for um, anything because they, they got some things that are going to attack them and um, by a specialist that feeds on a particular part of the plant, okay? So, but this wild, the wild tobacco is, um, it's ready. It has a secret chemical weapon where uh, when a herbivore attacks, it ramps up toxin uh, or nicotine and the nicotine poisons anything that has a muscle. So now it's survived not only being eaten by bugs anymore. Um, however, along came, comes Mr. Caterpillar, who he doesn't have any muscles, so the nic nicotine isn't going to work on him. And now the little plant is being eaten alive, uh, and chances are if nothing happens, the entire plant is going to be devoured uh, in a couple days by Mr. Caterpillar. Okay, but. As we know, there are to tobacco plants. They're not all devoured um, by caterpillars. So why? Why is that? Well, it's because this little plant has another secret chemical weapon. So when Mr. Pal Caterpillar's saliva gets on the plant, it actually sends out SOS um, smells to call for reinforcements to help me, come help me, I'm being eaten, devoured alive. So within hours, huge Mr. Bug Eye comes along and he gobbles up the caterpillars, the exact bugs that eat caterpillars. And if that weren't enough, uh, the plant also makes these little lollipop looking things called the trichome. And the calipeter actually eats these yummy little treats. And 20 minutes later, their secret weapon kicks in and Mr. Caterpillar himself is now emitting this odor that Mr. Bug actually loves. So pretty amazing, right? Okay, but there's more. Here comes um, Mrs. Hawk Moth gathering nectar from flower to plant, but moths also lay up to 200 eggs, which grow into tobacco-eating caterpillars. So if this little tobacco plant happens to get too many little hawk, um, hawk moths, eggs on it, it changes the shape of its flower from short and open to tall and narrow. Now, uh, the hawk moth can't actually get pollen, and along comes the hummingbird, whose beak fits perfectly inside the long flower. So this wildflower of the field it has at least three defense mechanisms tailor fit for different predators. How cool is that? Um, thinking about how God uh, can protect us from different predators and enemies, that the schemes the plans the enemy has for our life. The flowers of the field show us that God knows, like he knows, like he really, really, really knows. But not only does he know what we need and our temptations and what we're susceptible to, he's, he knows um, what is needed long before we even saw the need, right? And he provides, just like long before the wild tobacco plant needed uh, this this, these defense mechanisms, like back before the fall, um, he provided. So he already knew what you needed, and he set out to provide for you to act on your behalf and abundantly. Sin and brokenness hasn't hindered God's plan for your life. And after all, no plan of his can be thwarted, it says in Job 42 too. He cares enough to help a little plant fight against caterpillars. Surely he cares much more for you a valuable, created in his image person. So let me read this verse in Matthew 6, 28 to 33. It says, learn how the wild flowers, flowers of the field grow. They don't labor or spin thread. They don't even have a brain, let alone the ability to provide for themselves, right? Yet I tell you, not even Solomon in all his splendor was adorned like one of these. I mean, could you imagine if Solomon's soldiers had chemical releasing 
like weapons <laughs> and could change shape to depend on who they were facing. Well, if that's how God clothes the flowers of the field, the grass of the field, which is here today and thrown into the fire tomorrow, how much won't he do much more for you? Oh, you of little faith. So don't worry saying, what will we eat or what will we drink or what will we wear for the idolaters eagerly seek all these things. And you and your heavenly father knows that you need them. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and these things will be added to you as well. All right, so check out the other um, videos in this series about creation revealing the glory of God. Thanks for your time. Um, please like um, and subscribe below. And um, if, you, if this was encouraging to you or you think that it would encourage somebody else, please go ahead and share it. All right, thanks for your time. Bye-bye.